So I've woke up to the first bit of uh, frost on the boats and on the jetty. <sighs> I've woke up to the first bit of frost and currently we are at 20 degrees inside. I've had the heater on for about an hour, keeping me, keeping me warm. I woke up just over an hour ago actually, uh, turned the heater on and um, it's warmed it up to 20 degrees from probably, I imagine, somewhere around three or four degrees, maybe not quite that low. But then again, it's frosty outside too, no. Um, but this is the first day of uh, frost that we've had. It is, it is bloody cold. It says it's 20 degrees here. That thermometer must be lying to me because it seems much cooler. But I've just got out of bed where I had hot water bottle and stuff. Anyway, so uh, the diesel heater is working really well. Uh, however, I don't know why I didn't think of this, and this is a bit of a school by error and, a, and, a, and an oversight on my part, but the um, diesel heater obviously has to use electricity to heat its glow plug and to turn its fan and all that kind of thing. And for some reason, I've just ignored that fact. <sighs> and it is wired up to the starter battery of the boat. Now yesterday, when I came to take the boat out, the battery was quite low, but I'd had the heat on in the morning. And it was low enough to really make it difficult to start the boat. This morning, I've had it on for an hour and it's saying that the battery's got 10 volts. <laughs> so that's definitely not enough to start the boat. So what am I gonna do now? This is gonna be very expensive. This is my neighbor. He's a nice bloke. Bends over in front of my window every morning. But he's a nice bloke. He's, look, this, this guy. And it's a bit weird me filming him because he can't see me, but. He's filling his coal thing up every morning. I'm, I'm a bit jealous of the wood burners. I've heard lots of negative things about wood burners and I don't think I'll be able to fit one in here. It's just a bit too, a bit too small, especially with all the regulations on how far they have to be away from walls and all that kind of thing. I've got this, I've got this overhang here. If I didn't have this overhang, I could have a wood burner here actually. I, I actually wanted, I was going to take this worktop out, put a wood burner here that went straight up through there, right next to the bed as well. But because of that overhang, the, 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 I'll show you. The chimney would be so near this glass that it'd probably be dangerous. So basically what that means is that I need some way of charging that battery or to get some new batteries that have got lots of power in them. And a, and a way to charge them. At the moment, the, <coughs> the starter battery is charged by a sort of trickle charger, which is plugged into the mains electric. But what I need is something better than that. And what that means is I need solar panels. And I need a couple of ledger batteries. <sighs> it's going to be so expensive. I can't afford that. <sighs> anyway. So I'm going to have to look into that today. I'm going to have to look into how I can do it on the cheap. If anybody's got any tips on how to do solar power on the cheap, I'd really appreciate it. Um, people have offered me uh, solar panels cheap. You know, f the, the ones that came off houses, the huge ones. But how d does that work? D do they connect? Can you just put charge controllers on and connect them up to batteries? Are they different because they're for a house? I don't know. Um, 240 and 12 volt and all that kind of stuff. I don't really understand that too much. But um, if anybody can help me out with that, or if anybody's got any solar panels or leisure batteries lying around that they are getting rid of cheap or free, that'd be perfect. Because I, I can't be... Especially if I'm wanting to cruise places as well, like got another four months of bad weather that battery ain't gonna put up with that is it 
Um, but anyway, uh, hit me back just to chat. Truly yours, your biggest fan. It's Liam. Let me know when uh, if you've got anything. Let me know if you've got any tips or advice on anything. Um, I've woke up this morning. The mayor all over the place. Um, and been bothered by that voltage drop on the battery. First world problems there. Anyway, thank you for watching as usual and subscribe and all that. Thank you. Bye-bye.